Hello guys, good afternoon. Kamusta yung trading day natin muli? So yun nga, nagkaroon tayo ng follow-up red candle. <laughs> anyway guys, so charting session tayo guys sa araw na to. Uh, doon sa ating mga most active stocks gamit ang ating swing and push position trading style. So yung time frame na yan is 1 hour and daily time frame. Of course, yung ating daily time frame is for position and for our 1 hour is for swing trading. Okay guys, so sa mga hindi pa po aware, uh, pwede nyo pong silipin yung ating YouTube channel. Yan po, Candlestick Trader PH. Uh, yan po, yung ating yung pinaka-latest po na na-upload nating video dyan is yung ating moving average and combined with our MACD as our trading setup. Uh, na-upload ko po yan kahapon. And hopefully guys na nakatulong ito sa inyo uh, at nagkaroon kayo ng idea especially doon sa mga bagong pasok pa lang po sa ating uh, market. And of course, paki-explore nyo na rin guys yung ating mga other videos especially yung ating learning uh, videos. Marami kayong matutunan doon guys and of course sa ating mga charting session gamit yung ating market trading setup. Guys muli sa mga hindi pa po uh, aware sa ating market trading setup nandito po siya ever meron po tayong mastering marcy setting marcy trading setup so fully ma-practice nyo guys at yun makikita nyo talaga yung entry gaya ng mga previous charting session natin nakita natin na yung mga wala pang entry yun nagkaroon nga ng uh, follow up uh, drop down ng mga prices sa araw na to okay so let's start guys sa ating mga most active stocks kung titingnan pa rin natin siya doon sa ating Instagrams, ito. So, in this part, ito yung ating mga most active stocks. Ito yung ating sisilipin sa araw na to. Okay, guys. So, before we start, laga nating tandaan yung ating mga important note to remember. Uh, we need to understand and adapt different kinds of market conditions. So, gaya ng case natin ngayon about kay COVID-19. And of course, yung trade trading as a business. Each time frame have their own different personalities. Always examine first by yourself through research and back testing, and the final decision will always end into ourselves, guys. So okay, malinaw po yun, guys, sa ating lahat. Okay, so let's start with our local index mo na. Silipin natin yung local index natin, guys. So still nasa consolidation stage siya, pero of course bumaba ng bumaba yung ati price sa local index. So I think nasa tignan natin siya sa ating fibo. Ayan, so titingnan natin, nandiyan na siya sa ating support level. So medyo nag-drop down siya doon sa ating uh, 0.38 to ng ating FIBO retracement. Okay, so yun nga, nasundan yung drop down nung Friday. Nasundan ulit ng panibagong red candle. At doon sa ibang stocks, nagkaroon tayo ng pag-bounce. And hopefully magkaroon tayo ng uh, follow-up uh, bounce tomorrow. So since nagbounce yung ibang stocks ngayon, so uh, we are expecting na magkakaroon to ng panibagong uh, support bounce tomorrow. Hopefully tama nga yung ating uh, hula at bumalik ulit sa ating level na above 0.38 to ng ating FIBO uh, retracement. Okay guys, so yun nga nagkaroon pa dito ng breakdown. So hindi maganda yung pinakita ngayon but of course... Let's see, kung magkaroon bukas ng pag-bounce at uh, magkaroon tayo ng red, uh, green candle sa ating local market uh, chart. Okay guys, so let's start with our uh, most active star na si GFC. So bumagsak talaga si GFC dito. So let's start with our daily time frame. Ayan, so may drawing ako dito. Gumawa kasi ako ng chart kanina kay GFC. Okay. So yan si GFC, so nag-breakdown siya doon sa ating support or within the support pa rin siya yung ating price kay GFC gamit yung ating daily time frame. Ayan guys, okay? So pag titingnan natin, wala tayong entry dahil yun nga, yung ating price is masyad, masyadong malayo doon sa ating MA10 gaya nung nasabi natin last Friday na wala pa tayong, tayong entry kay GFC. So yun, nasundan nga ng ating uh, panibagong uh, go hit na pula ayan so nag drop down yung ating short term trading signal sobrang baba doon sa long term trading signal natin guys 
So wala tayong entry pa rin sa ating daily time frame and nandun siya sa ating support level ng ating FIBO 0.236. Okay, so tingnan natin kung magkaroon ito ng bounce or if ever. So support level next is in this level. Okay? So yan po yung ating daily time frame kay JFC and for our 1 hour time frame Yan, so wala pa rin tayong entry sa ating 1 hour time frame and still nandoon siya sa ating support level, pareho siya doon sa ating daily time frame, guys. Okay? Yung short term trading signal natin, so nasa oversold. And let's see kung kakaroon tayo ng short uh, bounce tomorrow or babagsak pa talaga. <laughs> okay, so abang-abang muna tayo and observe observe sa ating stock na si JFC. Okay, so for both 1 hour and daily time frame, wala tayong entry kay JFC. Okay, and next si Ali. Ali sa ating 1 hour time frame, ayan, so sobrang malalayo. We're expecting na talagang wala tayong mga entry ngayon sa ating uh, mga stocks, mostly. Okay, so malayo yung price natin kay Ali sa 1 hour time frame. With also your our short term trading signal. Okay, so... Guys, yung gamit natin pala ngayon is still Marcy Trading Setup. Okay, so sa mga hindi pa po aware. And for our daily time frame, yan, wala tayong uh, entry. Pareho. So, nasundan pa rin yung ating red candle last Friday. So, both 1 hour and daily time frame, wala tayong entry kay Ali. Okay guys, so next si BDO. Video sa ating daily time frame. Ayan, so bumagsak. Layo guys. So, we're expecting talaga na wala tayong mga entry. And abang-abang tayo guys sa pag-bounce. So, bounce lang yung muna titingnan natin dito na possible na mangyari. At kung accumulator kayo, pwede kayong mag-accumulate. I think it's better na mag-accumulate kayo doon sa uh, confirmed support ng isang stock. Okay guys? And since ito, si Ali, si BDO, nasa oversold level na siya. So, pwede tayong, pwede nating bantayan as oversold trader kapag nag-break out doon sa ating level 30. Okay? If ever man na mag-materialize, then pwede tayong pasok, pasokin yan as oversold trader. Pero based doon sa ating market trading setup, malayong malayo yung ating uh, short-term trading signal doon sa ating long-term trading signal. Same true with our price. Okay, so next si P Gold. Uh, okay, sa so one hour time frame kay video pala. So one hour time frame kay video. So nagkaroon tayo dito ng uh, huge volume sa anong time ito? 12:30. So within 12:30. So before the pre-close, nagkaroon tayo ng huge volume pero wala pa rin tayong entry. So if ever man yun nga bounce yung ating babantayan dito kung gusto nyo mag-trade as bonds uh, oversold trader okay so 1 hour time frame wala pa rin tayong entry and also with our daily time frame kay video and next si P Gold P Gold sa ating 1 hour time frame so nasa entry level yung ating P Gold ngayon so ayan mayroon tayong <laughs> <laughs> isang nakita ngayon sa entry level gamit ang ating 1 hour time frame and of course kapag pumasok tayo guys cut loss point natin is from this level so yung resistance natin nakikita natin yung resistance natin is possible from this place so serves as our initial resistance and mayroon tayong nakikita ang resistance dito sa level na to yan guys Okay, so pwede nyo yung bantayan yan if ever na mag-entry tayo. Since based doon sa ating Marcy entry rules, meron tayong uh, entry signal dito sa ating 1 hour time frame. Okay, so nag-materialize yung price above our MA10. Okay, so sa 1 hour time frame, meron tayong entry. And for our daily time frame, guys, so pwede nating bantayan sa daily time frame kasi yung price natin is nag-over or nag-break out siya. So need na lang natin ng confirmation on the next candle kung mag-hold pa rin siya above our MA10. 
And hintayin din natin na mag-breakout yung ating short-term trading signal doon sa ating uh, long-term trading signal dito sa ating RSI. Okay guys, so pwede nating bantayan si Pgold dahil doon sa 1 hour time frame na nagkaroon ng volume before uh, pre-close. Okay guys, so next si Sikbi. Sikbi sa ating daily time frame. Ayun, so bagsak pa rin. And malayong malayo yung price natin So wala tayong entry guys kay Sikbi uh, Also with our short term trading signal Malayo So check natin yung 1 hour Of course wala din tayong entry sa ating 1 hour yan See? So pwede tayo munang pumasyal ulit sa ibang stocks Or pwede nyo i-monitor kung talagang uh, gusto nyo pumasok dito Pero so far malayong yung ating mga prices and yung ating signal okay, Para mag-materialize yung entry Okay, so for both 1 hour and daily time frame, wala tayong entry kay SIGB. And next, CSM. ASM, ayan, so nag-break out. Uh, malakas yung pagkakahila ng price. Pataas. Okay, so ito nga, mayroon tayong entry sa ating SM. na stock in a daily time, in a 1 hour time frame, guys. So... Pwede nating bantayan to at hopefully na mag-hold yung price above our MA10. Okay, so 1 hour uh, time frame, mayroon tayong entry kay SM. And for our daily time frame, ayan, so daily time frame, nag-consolidate na yung ating price above our MA10. So yun na, both 1 hour and daily time frame, nasa entry tayo kay SM. Ayan, so mayroon tayong entry, nag-breakout din doon sa ating shifting level. And yung ating price is nag-hold doon sa MA10. Okay, so yun guys, mayroon tayong entry both daily and one hour time frame kay SM. And next, si AC. AC, wala tayong entry sa ating daily time frame guys. Ayan, so nag-breakdown na yung price natin. Uh, at nag-materialize nga siya uh, below our MA10. And yun nga, breakdown yung ating short term trading signal. So wala tayong entry diyan guys sa ating daily time frame kay AC and for our 1 hour time frame ganun din. And nagkaroon dito ng bounce sa ating oversold level. Uh, tingnan natin kung magkaroon ng tuloy-tuloy na or follow up bounce tomorrow. And of course, wala tayong entry based doon sa ating market trading setup pa sa ating 1 hour time frame kay AC. Okay, so next si Globe Globe, yan, may entry tayo guys kay Globe sa ating 1 hour time frame. So medyo maganda yung pagkaka-bounce niya sa araw na to, si Globe. Okay, so ito, nagkaroon tayo ng breakout doon sa ating long term trading signal. And so nag-bounce siya dito sa ating uh, level 30, sa oversold level. And yun, makyat. And... Let's see tomorrow kung masundan pa ito ng another green candle or yung ating price is mag-hold pa rin doon sa ating uh, above MA, MA10. Okay guys, so pwede nating pasukin and our cut loss point is below our MA10. If ever man na uh, uh, gusto nyo uh, pumasok kay Globe sa 1 hour time frame. Okay, and for our daily time frame, Yan, so yun nga, nagkaroon na ng pag-hold ng price doon sa ating daily time frame kay Globe. Yan, so nag-hold and nasa entry. Pasok na pasok siya sa ating entry level guys si Globe sa ating daily time frame. So nasa consolidation stage yung ating Globe ngayon. So yan, this serves as our resistance. And mayroon tayo nakikita ang support level dito kay Globe sa daily time frame so in this level okay so yun guys si Globe nasa consolidation stage and nasa mayroon tayong entry signal sa daily time frame okay and next si URC URC sa so, URC sa daily time frame wala tayong entry guys price is very far from our MA10 and also with our uh, short term trading signal Okay, so tingnan na lang natin siya sa lower time frame kung mayroon tayong makita. Okay, sa lower time frame, nag-hold na yung price uh, below our MA10. So wala tayong signal and nandun din sa oversold yung ating 
uh, short term trading signals so uh, let's see kung magkaroon ito ng pag bounce once na nag break out yung ating short term trading signal doon sa level 30 as oversold level natin so both 1 hour and daily time frame wala tayong uh, entry kay URC okay, and next si BPI kamusta si BPI tagal ko tong binabantayan si BPI ayun na umakyat si BPI so sa daily okay, sa 1 hour time frame guys uh, hinila yung price uh, before pre close ayan so umakyat siya at nag break out doon sa ating MA10 so observe natin kung masustain niya uh, above MA10 pa rin yung ating price tomorrow so nasa entry tayo ng ating daily time frame kay uh, BPI and yun nga yung ating price is above our MA10 Okay, so sa ating daily time uh, sa ating daily time frame ayun so still may entry tayo entry signal tayo kay BPI ayan so nag hold yung price karon nang talaga malakas yung pagkaka bounce niya ngayon and so nag hold yung price above our MA10 okay, so serves as our entry signal and still our short term trading signal is above our long term trading signal okay, so above shifting level pa rin siya kaya nang sinabi ko, pag mga ganyang level is medyo okay i-trade. Okay, so congrats sa mga nakasakay pala kay BPI sa level na to. Ito sa level na to. So, dyan nag-materialize yung uh, entry talaga natin kay BPI. So, at nag-hold na siya or nag-consolidate na siya dyan sa ating uh, above MA10. Okay, so next si SMPH SMPH sa ating daily time frame mm -hmm. pwede nating bantayan guys si SMPH para sa ating daily time frame kasi yung price natin is nandun na siya sa ating uh, MA10 and of course nag break out na rin yung ating uh, short term trading signal guys okay, so yan pwede nating bantayan si SMPH sa ating daily time frame And for our 1 hour time frame, ayan, so breakout na nga. Karoon ng breakout doon sa ating 1 hour time frame kay SMPH. And observe natin kung masustain pa rin niya yung price above our M18. So far, pwede natin siyang pasukin. If ever man, so yung cutlass point natin is this from this level. So 28.57 or below M18, depende sa uh, kaya niyong i-risk guys sa pag-trade. Okay, so next, si MBT. Almost mga blue, blue chips Okay, so si MBT Wala tayong entry signal In a 1 hour time frame And Okay, so breakdown siya Breakdown pa rin doon sa ating uh, Level 30 le Oversold level So let's see, tingnan natin sa daily time frame Ganun din, so sobrang layo ng price natin doon sa MA10 and ganun din yung ating short term trading signal so wala tayong entry guys for 1 hour and daily time frame kay MBT okay, so next si MPI MPI okay so most of our stocks walang entry for 1 hour and daily time frame guys so wala tayong entry ay MPI sa ating daily time frame and for our 1 hour time frame ay sobrang layo ng ating short term trading signal guys so oversold so bantay bantay doon sa mga oversold trader so maraming nag-aabang <laughs> if ever man so nag bounce dito baka sakali okay guys so so far wala tayong entry for 1 hour and daily time frame kay MPI okay so next si SMC 2F so si SMC Ayan, so, iliquid siya. <laughs> Mas nasama to <laughs> sa top traded. Yeah. Ano yung ilang trades ba to? So, 23 lang. So, iliquid to guys. Si SM2S. Bakit nasama dito sa ating <laughs> most active stock? Okay. So, let's see si Mer. Si Mer. Si, Meral, uh, si Manila. Electric company. Okay, so yung price natin, nag-hold siya above our MA10. And still, our short-term trading signal is above our shifting level or sa ating uh, long-term trading signal. So, nasa entry pa rin yung ating uh, 
mares sa daily time frame and of course yung cut loss point natin is below M18 kapag nag hold siya diyan sa level na yan okay so sa ating 1 hour time frame kay mir uh great kwentong drawing so breakout same pa rin so both 1 hour and daily time frame natin mayroon tayong entering nakikita kay mir okay guys so yan yan yung ating mga signal and still yung ating cut loss point is from this level kapag nag cut loss tayo dito kasi mayroon tayong nakikita diyan sa ating 1 hour time frame service hours support level dito Okay, so if ever man, pwede kayong mag-cut loss below with this level or below M18. So, depende na rin yan. Muli sa iyong uh, risk percentage, kung ilan yung kaya mong i-risk kapag pumasok ka kay uh, Mir sa 1 hour time frame. Okay? So, next guys. Uh, okay, so wala na. So, yun lamang guys. At maroon akong dinagdag para makumplito lang yung square natin dito sa ating... <laughs> Uh, representation uh, yun, dinagdag ko si dito kasi medyo sikat din to uh, okay, so silipin natin lang so, sa 1 hour time frame so nagkaroon tayo dito ng bounce mula doon sa ating level 30 so, dito sa oversold level natin and yun nga and so far based on our Marcy trading setup wala tayo nakikita pang entry kay dito sa ating 1 hour time frame guys okay And of course, doon din sa ating daily time frame. So, pwede nating bantayan, guys, sa ating daily time frame si dito. Kasi yung price is doon siya sa ating M18 or serves as our support. Yung ating M18 and nagkaroon din ng weakness. So, nagkaroon na ng pagbagsak ngayon. Observe pa rin natin if ever man pwede tayong pumasok. Pero yung cut loss point natin is below M18. So, I suggest na observe nyo muna, guys, na magkaroon tayo ng green candle ay dito sa daily time frame above our M18. Okay, so so far nandoon pa rin yung ating entry signal kay dito pero based doon sa candle na pinakita nga so medyo alanganin pa tayo guys. Okay, so observe or mag-entry man kayo, cut loss nyo is dito sa ating below M18 pa rin. So yung risk is ni ganun ka taas. Okay, so yun lamang guys, uh, mabilis ang Charting station lang tayo doon sa ating mga most active stocks sa araw na to, May 26, 2020. And always, not bago natin, tan uh, lagi natin tandaan guys, na yung ating trading is all about probabilities. Okay? So, if you stick to those higher probability trades, then there's a better chance of coming out ahead in the long run. Okay? So, thank you for watching guys muli. And please subscribe and share. Comment down your questions and requests in our uh, video below and thank you guys only and have a nice day